one Mate talk time. I don't have a Mate with me today. As you can see, I'm traveling. I'm in the beautiful city of Adelaide. Now, what I want to do is answer Gerardus de Luz. He did a, um, a lineup for me. And I like the idea, which was, if I was traveling to Costa Rica, and he gave me different locations, what kind of perfumes would I take? I thought, being that I am traveling, I'm gonna mix the two together. So if I was traveling to Costa Rica, I would take these particular perfumes. But being that I am traveling, I'm also bringing these perfumes for my my movements. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'll explain to you. The first one, Gerardo said, if I'm going to the beach, what kind of fragrance would I take? Well, I've been using this, so this could be perfect as a beach fragrance, but it's definitely been my travel fragrance when I move around through the airports. Mandarino de Sicilia. It's just this juicy, beautiful, uh, wonderful Mandarin citrus, but it has the, it, I, I think it's the in the base, it's the petty grand that's in there, the greenness that just it's fresh, it's vibrant. Um, it's beautiful when it opens, but then it becomes a body scent. However, when I'm moving around at the airports and you know you're moving luggage and all that, the fragrance starts to re-emerge. I was wearing this in Italy when I was through uh, Milan. This was my fragrance, and in a summer sort of vi vibrant beach sort of setting, this would be pure magic. So Mandarino de Sicilia my first one for you guys. Then Gerardos mentioned, what if I went to the mountains? Now, I don't know what the mountains are like in Costa Rica. I'm going to say they're going to be warm, but I'm referencing the mountains that I have here in Australia. And uh, they're equal parts. It's fresh, but it's also cold. So I'm bringing to you two that could go together as a companion. This is Clive Christian X, masculine and feminine. The masculine is a lot more warm, it's warm spices, ambery, it has things like cinnamon, like paprika, but it also has the amber, the vanilla, the wood, so it's just glorious. Now, when you put it over the top with Clive Christian X Feminine, this is a fruity shipra, and it has this peach, rhubarb, pineapple opening with some vanillas in there that mix in with the vanilla from uh, the X Masculine you are creating a set of magic. If you're in the mountain, it gets cool, but then the sun comes out, it gets warm, so you're getting the mixture of the uh, nice warm ambery for those, you know, when the cloud is over the sun, and then when the sun comes out, those fruity tones come out with the actual shipper from the feminine. Two together, I've been wearing this also here in Adelaide. The weather's been, today's glorious, but yesterday was kind of ordinary, um, and this was what I was wearing as I was moving around. Beautiful fragrances, they work well together, or independently depending how you like to wear it. The next place that Gerardo mentioned is Central Valley. Now for me, Central Valley is populated, like in most valleys. So therefore shopping, I'd recommend to you Fragrance Dubois Milano. If you like a nice leathery fragrance, but with a very distinct twist, the twist is that it has a fruity vanilla tone to it. It starts off very fresh, the leather's very soft in the opening, but then as the fragrance begins to evolve, you're getting the more, it's more of a suede leather. It actually, it's not so harsh. And, it, and I'm gonna say it's those fruity uh, notes that are in there along with the vanilla that's bringing the whole thing down. This is glorious as a day fragrance. If you're in Central Valley, if you're doing shopping, Milano is awesome. Longevity on it is uh, seven plus hours. The sillage is fantastic. Then Milano is the one for you. The last one. We don't have many volcanoes here. Gerardo mentioned, what would you wear to go to a volcano? The only volcano I know is Mount Etna in Sicily. Have a look at this footage. So I'm working off all those cannolis. Mount Etna, it's freezing. <laughs> that volcano was very cold. You think volcano, you think hot, you know, boiling lava. It was freezing. So I'm gonna recommend to you an Aussie fragrance. Now, a lot of people don't have this around the world. This is Ankakus. It's called This Ember. 
Now this was uh, nominated for the Art and Old Fashion Award. It is, uh, it's actually really spectacular. The, the, the front of it is the phoenix rising from the ashes of the volcano, if you want. But this is, this is a very distinct vanilla amber incense fragrance. So if you like your frankincense, if you like the more ambery kind of fragrances, this amber is spectacular, really, really impressive. Longevity on it, you're probably looking about five or so hours. The sillage on this is really awesome. My wife is not a frankincense or uh, incense kind of person. If I'm wearing this, she detects it miles away. So it, it has a nice punch, nice sillage to it. But on a volcano, this would be the ultimate fragrance. You would smell like a god, I think. So there it is. Gerardo, say you are my friend. I hope that uh, covers the fragrances. I know you said I was allowed six. I did five, my friend. So uh, I, I figured five was a nice collection there. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys all on the next Mate Talk.